Okay, so this is Tasha, the Crafty Kraut. I'm going to show, I had a request, or I had a question um, from somebody in regards to the monogrammet um, amazing design software. So hopefully, let's see this okay. It's, okay, that's better. Um, about resizing individual letters. So here... Right down here, you can resize the entire, all the letters that you have, right? So if you put, just, let's put two inches high, and it'll take a second. And as you can tell, it made the letters bigger. It's not a great angle. Sorry, bear with me a second. I'm trying to get this better angle. Okay, so now if you click on the letter here, the little red box, if you click on that, you see it comes up with little um, points here. So, hold on. It's a little tricky. Okay. So if you see, it will come up. So now it's just the A letter. It's very, it's kind of hard to do from this angle. Okay. Okay, there you go. So you can see the J. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'll zoom in. It has little dots on it, the little yellow dots, right? So what you'll do you can make it bigger. Take a second to process it. Okay. So now when you make it bigger, you're going to have to move it because now it's not going to be lined up right. So you have to line it up yourself once you start moving it. So what I usually do is, I'm going to make this smaller again. Okay. Okay, so it's smaller. So I'm going to move it back over here. It's about the size it needs to be, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make the K bigger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the J so you got to kind of play with it, right? You're going to have to, okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to line up the J and I try to just line it up. I use, you know, you see these little, the little grid. I just try to line the um, grid up or the letter up with the grids on the bottom. I'm going to line it up with the bottom in this case. So I'm going to put the bottom of the J on, on this dark line. And I'm going to do the same with the A. I'm going to have to move the A away some because the K is larger now. So you just kind of have to look and see kind of how it fits, how it goes. Yeah, I mean, that's a little extreme um, size-wise for the, the K. But um, you can kind of see if you don't, like, you don't like it like that, you can move it. Again, you just have to click and you'll get the box around it. And then once the box is around it, you can move it. So you can move it up a little higher. Might look a little better. So you just have to see, you have to just line it up. So when you print, when it prints out or embroiders out, it's not all wacky. So that's how you individually size um, letters. And that's in monogram. Well, actually, I'm in letter it, but it's the same thing as a monogram it. You can do the same thing. Um, <clears throat> okay, so those are those are the letters. Now you can also change how it prints. Which let's see. Zoom in over here. So over here on this panel here, if you go to fill. You get the standard fill and then patterns. And if you do these patterns, it 
will, depending on what you choose, it's going to print, it's going to embroider out differently. I personally like either the smooth or the satin. The satin are bigger hoops. They're, they're larger hoops. It's kind of like the standard um, embroidery. Um, the smooth is, it's, um, let's see, how to explain it. It makes a little pattern, so the the embroidery is tighter on the fabric where the satin you can you would be able to snag easier. I like to use a smooth on certain things because it's not gonna you're not gonna snag it as easy. And especially with big letters with like the K, since um, the the thread goes from this side to the K to that side and it's so big it's um, it's better to do the smooth because um, it's not gonna you know it's not gonna have a big it's not gonna be a big loop it's gonna be more of a pattern it's kinda hard to explain you have to kinda play with it I don't know if I have an example somewhere I, I know I've done both prints but I don't think I have anything printed out with it on there This, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of, kind of hard to see. That is the satin. As you can tell, it's just a loop. It's one loop. The thread starts here and it goes to here. So it goes back and forth, back and forth. Where the smooth makes a little design in it so it, um, it's not a loop. So that's just the standard print. I think uh, I'll, I can do another video. Um, to show you the different um, textures or the different way that prints out. But those are the two ways that I like. Um, I've used the cornrow before. Uh, I haven't really used any of the others. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, I'm sure they're all pretty neat. Uh, again, the satin and the smooth, I think, are the, the most usable um, ones. Um, so of course here the text, if you've met, played around with it, you can tell, um, you know, different text that you can do. Again, I'm in Letterit, but it's the exact same thing in the monogram. Monogram and Letterit, I ha as you can see over here, I have both downloads. So what it does is it divides it out here. So here's letter it and here's monogram it. And then two, if you wanted to bring in a, um, a design from like a CD or something, if you have a design, what you can do is up here, you can do merge design and then you go to wherever your design is. I don't have a, um, a a disc in there right at the second but let's see let's see if I just have one as an example okay I'll just do a heart so see I can bring in the heart and it's so I brought in the heart and then what it'll do it brings it in to your design and then you can move it around you can move the heart around wherever you want it over here down here so you can bring in designs it's really cool for like if you have um, kids and you're making a bib or a blanket and you want to bring in like a Disney theme or um, you know uh, blocks or, or anything like that you can just bring it into um, where you have the name and it's a lot easier this way than if you do it on the computer on the um, if you try to like do the name and then you want to add a design after that, here you can line it up. You know, if I want it like right on top of the A, I can do that. If I want it, you, um, you know, however I want it. If I want it here, if I want to turn it, I can turn it. I can mess with it on here and it'll, it's a lot easier. If I print, if I go ahead and print this out and then I try to add the um, a design, I'm never going to get it to line up right. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to be able to tell on the um, on the machine how it's going to look once it prints out here. I can tell exactly what it looks like. And of course, you can choose um, you know different colors, which you don't really have to choose that. You can just change it out. 
Um, if you do save it like this and you save it different colors, the machine should stop after you, you're done with one color and then it'll prompt you to add in your second color, or your third color, whatever color. So you can do that just so it um, stops and you don't have to sit there and pay attention. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.